Hey everyone, it's Maria. Today, we're uncovering the top 10 must-read books for beginners in English. So grab your reading glasses, find a cozy nook, and let's dive into the wonderful world of words. Kicking off our list is a true classic, Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. This heartwarming story takes us to a farm where an unlikely friendship blossoms between Wilbur, a pig worried about his fate, and Charlotte, a wise spider. White's simple yet elegant writing style makes this book perfect for English learners. The sentences are clear, the vocabulary is accessible, and the story itself is engaging for readers of all ages. Beyond its linguistic merits, Charlotte's Web teaches us valuable lessons about friendship, loyalty, and the power of words. It's a story that stays with you long after you've turned the final page. I remember reading Charlotte's Web for the first time when I was learning English, and I was immediately drawn into the world that White created. The characters felt so real, and the story was both heartwarming and humorous. I especially loved the relationship between Wilbur and Charlotte, and I found myself rooting for them every step of the way. Charlotte's Web is a book that I always recommend to anyone learning English. Next up, we have a collection of short stories that are as delightful as they are diverse. The Complete Short Stories by Roald Dahl offers a treasure trove of quirky, unexpected, and often darkly humorous tales. Dahl's writing is characterized by its wit, vivid imagery, and ability to surprise and delight readers. His stories are often populated by eccentric characters and unpredictable plot twists, making for an engaging reading experience. For English learners, Dahl's short stories are a fantastic way to improve reading comprehension without feeling overwhelmed by lengthy narratives. Each story provides a self-contained world to explore, allowing you to immerse yourself in Dahl's unique style and vocabulary in manageable doses. So if you're looking for a fun and engaging way to improve your English, be sure to check out the complete short stories by Roald Dahl. Let's be honest, who hasn't heard of Harry Potter? Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling is not just a book, it's a global phenomenon. This enchanting tale of a seemingly ordinary boy who discovers his magical heritage has captivated readers of all ages worldwide. Rowling's writing is both accessible and immersive, drawing you into the wizarding world with its vivid descriptions and endearing characters. While the series does introduce some unique magical vocabulary, the context makes it easy to follow and the excitement of the story will keep you hooked. The Harry Potter series is also a great choice for English learners because it's been translated into so many languages. This means you can easily find additions in your native language if you need to look up a word or phrase. Plus, watching the movies after reading the book can be a fun way to reinforce your understanding of the story and characters. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is more than just a children's book. It's a story about friendship, courage, and the power of believing in yourself. It's a book that has the power to transport you to another world and leave you wanting more. Chapter 4. The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, a coming-of-age classic. This iconic book tells the story of Holden Caulfield, a cynical and disillusioned teenager navigating the complexities of adolescence and searching for authenticity in a world he perceives as phony. Salinger's use of first-person narration and colloquial language gives the novel an immediacy and authenticity that can be both engaging and challenging for English learners. Holden's voice, with its slang and stream-of-consciousness style, reflects the voice of a teenage boy in the 1950s, providing valuable insights into American culture and vernacular. While the language might seem a bit dated at times, it offers a glimpse into the evolution of English and the nuances of language used by different generations. Moreover, Holden's emotional journey and struggles with identity are universal themes that resonate with readers regardless of their background or language. The Catcher in the Rye is a book that sparks conversation and encourages reflection, making it a rewarding read for English learners who want to delve deeper into American literature and explore complex themes. It's a book that stays with you long after you've finished reading it. It prompts you to question the world around you and your place within it. It's a must-read for anyone looking to improve their English skills while enjoying a thought-provoking story. Chapter 5, The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, A Dystopian Adventure Set in Panem, a post-apocalyptic society where teenagers are forced to fight to the death in a televised spectacle, the story follows Katniss Everdeen as she volunteers to take her younger sister's place in the games. Collins's writing is fast-paced and action-packed, 
making it a page turner that's hard to put down. The language is generally straightforward, making it accessible for English learners, and the thrilling plot will keep you on the edge of your seat. The Hunger Games trilogy is also a great choice for English learners because it's a series. Once you've finished the first book, you'll be eager to continue reading and see what happens next to Katniss and her fellow tributes. Beyond its entertainment value, The Hunger Games explores important themes such as oppression, rebellion, and the power of hope. It's a thought-provoking read that will stay with you long after you've finished the series. Chapter 6 Diary of a Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kinney A Laugh Out Loud Read This hilarious series follows the daily misadventures of Greg Hefley, a middle school student navigating the awkwardness of adolescence. Written in diary format, the books are filled with Greg's relatable struggles with school, friends, family, and the general trials and tribulations of growing up. Kinney's writing is funny, relatable, and easy to follow, making it a great choice for English learners. The books are also filled with illustrations, which can help with comprehension and make the reading experience even more enjoyable. The Diary of a Wimpy Kid series is a fantastic option for English learners who want to improve their reading skills while having a good laugh. Whether you're a middle school student yourself or simply enjoy a good coming-of-age story, Diary of a Wimpy Kid is sure to entertain and delight. Chapter 7 The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams A Hilarious Intergalactic Adventure This cult classic follows the misadventures of Arthur Dent, an ordinary Englishman, after Earth is demolished to make way for a hyperspace bypass. Adam's writing is witty, absurd, and filled with British humor, making it a delightful and entertaining read. While some of the humor might be lost on English learners who are unfamiliar with British culture, the book's overall absurdity and imaginative scenarios transcend cultural barriers. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is known for its footnotes, which often provide humorous asides or explanations of the book's more bizarre concepts. The most important thing is to enjoy the ride and let Adams's unique brand of humor wash over you. This book is a great choice for English learners who are looking for a challenge and want to expand their vocabulary and understanding of different types of humor. Chapter 8, Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari, A Mind-Expanding Journey. This groundbreaking book takes a sweeping look at the history of humankind from the Stone Age to the present day exploring the key events, innovations, and ideas that have shaped our species. Harari's writing is clear, engaging, and accessible, making complex topics understandable for a wide audience. While the book delves into history, biology, anthropology, and other academic disciplines, Harari presents the information in a way that is both informative and entertaining. Sapiens is a challenging but rewarding read for English learners who are interested in history, science, and the big questions about humanity. It will expand your worldview, introduce you to new vocabulary, and spark your curiosity about the world around us. It's a book that will stay with you long after you've finished reading it. Chapter 9. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, a timeless classic. This Pulitzer Prize-winning novel is a timeless classic that explores themes of racial injustice, prejudice, and childhood innocence in the American South during the 1930s. Lee's writing is both beautiful and heartbreaking, capturing the voices of her characters and the complexities of their world. While the book deals with difficult and sensitive topics, Lee's language is generally straightforward and accessible, making it a manageable read for English learners. To Kill a Mockingbird is narrated from the perspective of Scout Finch, a young girl growing up in the fictional town of Maycomb, Alabama. The book is a powerful reminder of the importance of empathy, understanding, and standing up for what is right. It's a timeless and essential read for people of all ages and backgrounds. Chapter 10. The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho, an inspirational fable. This internationally best-selling novel tells the story of Santiago, a young shepherd who embarks on a journey to fulfill his personal legend. Coelho's writing is simple yet profound, filled with symbolism and metaphors that encourage reflection and self-discovery. The language is generally straightforward, making it accessible for English learners, and the story's message of hope and perseverance resonates across cultures. The Alchemist is a relatively short read, but its impact is powerful and lasting. It's a book that encourages you to pursue your passions, embrace the unknown, and believe in the power of your own journey. 
It's a reminder that the greatest treasures are often found not at the destination but along the way. And there you have it, my top 10 must-read books for beginners in English. I hope you found this video helpful in choosing your next literary adventure. Remember, the most important thing is to find books that you enjoy and that keep you engaged. If you have any other book recommendations for English learners, please share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content. Happy reading!